Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am super excited for tonight. Um, I am hoping tonight that I will be able to complete my first uh, light with my new camera. And I'm hoping that uh, I will be able to get uh, my luminance for tonight. I've already shot the last uh, three or four nights. I've already shot my red, uh, green, and blue uh, filters. So uh, because the moon won't be up until early in the morning, um, I'm not exactly sure what time, but I know it's going to be after midnight, I should already have enough uh, luminance data on uh, on my target. So, yeah, come on along and uh, let's uh, see if we can't capture the rest of this data so we can have a first light on a new uh, ZWO ASI 2600 monochrome camera. So, like I said, um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that uh, tonight will be the night that I'll be able to complete uh, complete my data um, on the target that I'm going after. Um, the target has been uh, the Whirlpool Galaxy M51. So I'm hoping with the Orion 8-inch uh, Richie Creighton that has a focal length of 1600 millimeters that um, I'm going to get a nice uh, close-up view of, of the Whirlpool Galaxy and since I'll be shooting with a monochrome camera or with my new monochrome camera um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to pull out uh, a lot of that detail in the in the banding and, and in the Whirlpool Galaxy itself. So so let's see if, if I can get my luminance tonight and I will uh, process my image in uh, you know LRGB uh, palette like a, a color image from the mono camera and hopefully um, you know the image will be pretty decent um, I had a couple nights where it was really windy like I said um, so I'm not sure how the stack is gonna go when I when I uh, incorporate all four um, all four filters but let's see how it goes and I mean it's looking nice tonight it's gonna be windy uh, for the first part of the night I think I saw like seven or eight mile per hour winds but it's supposed to die down um, as the night progresses so so yeah let's uh, let's get going so, sun's getting ready to set and it's shaping up to be a pretty nice night uh, so far if you just look all around I'll give you the, the 360 view it is clear all the way around so let's just look up there and it is clear all the way around just like that um, as far as wind I don't really have any right now um, it's supposed to be like a seven mile per hour wind tonight, but it's supposed to die down to about five uh, later on and get a little uh, a little less uh, as the night progresses. So, so I think we'll be okay. Um, everything's pretty much set up. The mount, like I said, the mount the scope, everything's already been set up for for days. Um, when it gets a little uh, a little darker, I'll turn everything on, start cooling the camera. Um, I'll just do a real quick uh, one-star alignment 
uh, just to make sure that nothing's shifted or or um, nothing looks kind of out of place but um, the last four nights that I've uh, been using the scope uh, usually when I do that one star alignment I'm like right on within I wouldn't I don't know it's pretty pretty close so I'm able to plate solve get everything in um, so yeah um, we're just gonna wait for it to get dark and then we will start uh, shooting our luminance for the Whirlpool Galaxy M51 um, and then we will man it looks really clear out right now I haven't seen it this clear um, so like the last three or four nights the last night was like way too windy I didn't even try to set up um, or I didn't even try to image because um, it was just too windy the night before that um, I was shooting uh, the blue filter and um, I shot for about three hours and the um, wind was blowing about 15 miles per hour um, and when I got done imaging uh, I had a fine coat of dust on the outside of my my uh, telescope so I know that I had um, you know I checked the mirror I was able to like uh, blow the mirror out a little bit to kind of clean it up a little but um, I'm pretty sure seeing was horrible um, because there was just so much dust in the air um, and I mean that's that's what you that's what you have to deal with in uh, in Arizona usually so there's always sand and and dirt and fine uh, dust particles in the air but it's looking really nice tonight like I said uh, I don't have any wind right now so I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed and we will start the imaging session once uh, once it gets dark <laughs> So just a quick update guys, um, uh, I started imaging around 8.30, yeah, it's 9 o'clock now so I've been imaging for about half an hour, um, things are looking pretty good, uh, again no wind, uh, clear skies, and guiding is, is acceptable for me um, as you can see on the screen, um, right now we're guiding at about 0 0.8, 0 0.7. 
1.79 uh, total RMS. Um, and again, I'm I've got the 25 or 26 pounds of uh, telescope on my Sirius mount or the HEQ5, which um, has a maximum payload of 30 pounds. So I'm pushing it a bit, but but it, so far it looks pretty good, and it's been it's been doing uh, it's been doing the job for the last uh, three or four nights. So I feel pretty confident with it. Uh, let's take a look at a, a sub real quick. Um, oh, I'm zoomed in right now. I don't have an autofocuser, so I have to check my um, my subs periodically. And the way I do is just look at a couple. Uh, uh, stars in the area and just make sure that they don't start to, to get a little bigger. Um, I chose uh, 180 second or three minute um, subs. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little over three hours um, but here's here's one sub right now uh, 180 uh, seconds. Looking pretty good and yeah, this is luminance. So let's take a look at I mean, yeah, it looks it looks good. I, I think it's going to turn out well. Let me get back to my stars there. So, yeah, I mean, it's it is it is um, turning out to be a pretty good night. Uh, again, I'm using APT. Uh, I haven't uh, graduated to Nina yet. I do have it installed. I have played around with it a bit. Um, I'm a creature of habit. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable with APT now. Um, so that's what I'm using. I mean, I've got the plate solving down. I've got the filter wheel, uh, the uh, everything, everything within uh, within APT. So I'm pretty comfortable with it. Uh, so we're just gonna let this run tonight, and we're gonna see what we get in the morning. Tomorrow we'll process everything. We'll stack everything and process everything, and then um, we will see what our image looks like at the end. If it's good, that'll be wonderful. If it's not, we're still going to post it. So um, this will be my first light with my first mono camera, the 2600. So we are done with uh, M51. Um, so our first image um, with the 2600 is in the books. Uh, managed to capture just around three hours on each channel. So the final image is a total integration of about 12 hours. Uh, three hours on each uh, uh, luminance, red, green, and blue. Um, processed it in Photoshop. I'm still not uh, I'm still not using uh, Pixinsight, but that's a whole nother story. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, what I want to do, in addition to showing you the image of M51 that I was able to capture um, this week, is I'm going to go back into the archives and pull a image of M51 that I took back in March of 2012. Uh, I used the Orion Starshoot Deep Space Color Imaging Camera version 2. It was a 6 megapixel CCD camera. Um, I thought it was an excellent picture when I took it. Um, and also, last uh, year in February, so February of 2021, I had the Altair 294C, which was uh, Isaac's, one of Isaac's cameras, um, and I used it to take a picture of M51 also. Um, so I'm going to show you those two pictures, and then I'll go ahead and show you the picture that I that I was able to take um, with the 2600 um, a couple nights ago. 
Also, I was able to test out the um, narrowband filters or a couple of the narrowband filters. Um, I was able to test out the HA and the O3 filters. Um, I really, it was just a real short uh, uh, imaging session. I was able to get two hours uh, on, like two and a half hours on um, HA and two and a half hours on O3 of NGC 6888, uh, the Crescent Nebula. And I will show that at the end of this video uh, also. Um, and that was also taken with the um, 8 inch uh, Richie Creighton uh, Orion uh, Astrograph. So thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, find this kind of content uh, useful or um, enjoyable, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit that thumbs up. And if you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Um, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Uh, also, if you feel inclined to, please leave a comment. Um, I will try to uh, respond to each and every one of your comments. If you have questions uh, or anything else that you wanna say in there, uh, please do. But uh, thanks for hanging out and thanks for sticking around. And with that, I will leave you with a couple images.